I want to share with you today how you can design your Instagram posts to make sure they not only look good as a whole, but also look really great inside your grid. If you're like me at all, you love using Instagram portrait size for your posts, which just means that you're taking up more space in someone's scroll as they're scrolling their feed, which is really, really great for static posts. Or you might be doing reels where your reel cover is really tall, but again, if you design really badly for your reel cover, it can get cropped and really look weird inside your Instagram grid. So I'm gonna show you what to avoid and how is a really easy fix to make sure this looks great on your Instagram. So let's get into it. So hi, if we haven't met before, my name is Jackie and I am a graphic designer turned online educator for business owners to help them to know how to use programs like Canva really effectively so they can create their own incredible brand and graphics. Stuff that looks like a designer did it for them, but stuff that they did themselves, which is just so, so helpful in the day and age where things are kind of needing to get out really quickly. And we also might not yet have the budget to hire an incredible graphic designer. And so what I want to show you here, if you just have a look at my Instagram grid, obviously we're on the computer rather than on your mobile, but it's still cropped the same way. When you go to anyone's Instagram grid on your, on your phone or wherever you're viewing it, your, their posts are always cropped to a square. This looks really cute on Instagram, but does mean that their whole design isn't actually shown. For example, if I look at this post here, you can actually see the top of my head is being cut off, but there is actually a heap of room at the top of my head and at the bottom down here, but that's getting cropped to a square. So this is what we call an Instagram portrait post. Again, this is really great because it takes up more feed room. When someone's scrolling, it takes up more of their, their space on their phone. Plus it also gives you more real estate to design in, which is really helpful. Um, but it does mean it gets cropped weirdly on your Instagram grid. And this can be really bad if you're putting text up the top here or down the bottom here, because it starts to get cropped really grossly. Um, and that can be the same thing as well with your Instagram real covers. So you can see here, this this is a real cover, this is a real cover, um, this is a real cover, but they still look really great in the square. And that's because I've considered this thing that I wanna teach you today. If we go to my real covers here, you'll see that they actually are all tall graphics. They're, they're long posts, they're 1080 by 1920 high. Um, and this means that they take up the whole real cover space, which is what they need to do. Don't use a small square post as a real cover because it'll just get cropped even weirder. We don't wanna go there. Um, but you, what you wanna do is make sure that this is looking really great inside an actual square. And so the way that you do that is actually wildly simple. And I wanna make a really quick video to show you how to do that. So go to your Instagram and then just go to create a new design. So you open up, you can, if you're doing a portrait post, you can just search Instagram and click on the portrait size version, which is this one here. And if you've already got a design open, you can just jump straight into that one and do this exact same hack. So what you wanna do first is go to file then press view settings or hover over that and you'll see there's a show rules and guides section. You can also quickly skip to this by pressing shift R on your keyboard. This then brings up these little rulers at the top and on the sides. They're really great because what you can actually do is you can drag down little rulers from this ruler bar at the top and pop rulers slash guides on your design to help you mark things and know where things are gonna get cut off or know where to line things up with, et cetera, et cetera. These lines will not show up on your final design and they're just there to help you and to guide you. And so what we can do is actually really intentionally place those rulers where our Instagram grid's gonna crop to so that we know where things are gonna crop to weirdly on our Instagram grid. Simple. But the way that you can do that, if you don't like maths like myself, is just to go to elements here, press the little square button here under shapes, bring this shape and this square right up to the left-hand side of your design, or you can do the right-hand side, it doesn't really matter. And then you wanna click on this corner circle down the bottom and hold down shift on your keyboard. Holding down shift on your keyboard means that when you drag out this square to make it larger, it remains a square. I'm gonna let go of shift right now to show you what happens if I don't press it. See that this, it can make any kind of shape. It becomes a rect rectangle this way, this way, this way, it can do whatever it wants. Holding down shift though, if I just hold it again now, keeps it being a square. So you wanna hold down shift and drag this design so the square is a total width of the design perfectly. Then you wanna pick up that square and just drag it until Canva says, hey, you got that design perfectly centered. So you can see here with that little pink line that's coming across the design, that's telling me this square is perfectly centered within the design as a whole. So I'm gonna let go. Then I'm gonna hover my mouse over the top of the rulers at the top and click and then drag and drag down a ruler so it sits perfectly on top of that square. I'm gonna do the same, but drag it down to the bottom of the square. Then I'm gonna click on that square and delete it. Now I've got two rulers that are gonna show me exactly where my Instagram grid is going to cut off my design inside Instagram. It's as simple as that, and it's such an easy way to make sure you just, your designs look good. Now, if you've been learning from me for any particular period of time, you'll know that I often talk about creating margin in your design, and that means that you're creating, you're not putting text or design elements, like mainly just text, actually design elements are allowed to ignore this rule, right up close to the edge of the design because it makes the design feel crowded and overwhelmed. And so what you can actually do instead is when you're creating your design, making sure that, say so if I just insert really quickly here um, a template, 
um, say we do this one here, see if I've got this text at the top here, this text will then get cut off inside my Instagram grid. So what I would want to do is grab this text and drag it down, but I don't just want to drag it down so it's inside the Instagram grid. And so you can see it's right next to this purple line here, the, the, yeah, the purple line here. I actually want to drag it down. So there's a really nice margin between the top of this line and my text. And so I'm going to drag this down even more so, so it's around here. So I've got similar space at the top here between the purple line and the text as I do at the side here. And that really creates some great margin, some great breath breathability and some great design. Um, cleanness and, and beauty. Um, so I'm just going to move this image down if I can grab it quickly, move that down there just so there's some more space again. And now see this design, if I take off the rulers by pressing shift R or going to file and view settings and turning it off, you'll see this design feels really nice and open and clean, but I can tell you that it's also going to look really, really great inside my grid. And so that's how you can make this design look great no matter where you're going to post it. Now, I want to also show you two really quickly, the real cover designs. And so it's using the exact same strategy. So I'm actually just going to open up my real cover template file that I have for myself. And you can see here that again, I've got the tall design, but what I've done is I've inserted a square. I'll just do it again quickly so you can see it. I've inserted a square, it's got a lot of F in it right now, um, and make this the width of the design. You can see that it's going to take up a lot less space than it did when I was doing the portrait post, making this perfectly centered like so, dragging down the rulers, being on top of the square and being below the square and then deleting set square. And then I have a perfect reminder of the actual design and where it's going to get cropped. Knowing that most of the time people aren't even going to see this full design unless they kind of head to that real section on your actual Instagram grid. But what you can do is just make sure the design just carries through to the top and the bottom. You just kind of carry things through it. You're not prioritizing the design at the top and the bottom. You're prioritizing what it's going to look like on your grid because that's where things are going to show up like here and uh, here, these are all these real covers. You can see that the square cropping looks really great. That's where you kind of see it on your on your on your grid. Um, but the whole design as is, is itself still doesn't look like it's been neglected. It's not like I've just put little white bars um, at the top and bottom of my designs so that when I when it kind of just looks a little bit funky, it's just it's still a full design, you know. So making sure that you create for you that, that that full real cover, but you're really prioritizing that square and making sure you've got some good margin between the lines of the actual grid cropping and your text or anything else that you've got. So I'm just going to show you a few others here just to give you a bit of an idea. You can see this one here. We've got like things are still going out and beyond the, that cropping line, creating a dynamic design, but the priority is inside that square. The priority, priority is always inside the square. And we've got these people here, made sure that they kind of crop there okay, but the priority is always for inside the square. And even this one here, I've just brought down myself. So I'm covering the, the main, I'm covering the whole image but the priority is what I look like in here. And that's not as if my head's being chopped off like I was going here or something a little bit odd like that. So just always prioritizing that grid view because that's where people are gonna see your designs the most, but making sure that things still look good as that whole design. And the way to do that is just by adding in those rulers really, really quickly, really, really simply, and just making sure you just double check that those look good and making sure you keep enough margin away from those edges. So I hope that's been really helpful for you. Thank you so much for joining me. If you would like another tutorial, just pop it in a note in the comments and I would love to help. And in the meantime, if you're wanting to learn more from me, I have a free bingeable three-part 20 minute series that I would love to invite you to. It's called the Seriously in Business Challenge and it's just three snappy videos to help you to start to stand out, to help you to create really incredible graphics, and to help you really save time and enjoy the process of creating your own designs in Canva. So you can just check out the link in the description for that. And in the meantime, I will see you next week for another video. Bye.